Okay, sure, pretty much every article about data engineering is a must-have skills list, but sometimes I question how realistic or applicable those lists are. So I figured I'd take a shot at a more practical list of top skills for data engineers. So the first thing on any skills list is gonna be coding, specifically Python and SQL. And yes, SQL is a programming language, it's just not a general purpose one. No one seems to give much guidance past learn to code. So people go off and learn Python for general use, doing code puzzles, maybe making a cool Python app or game, and challenge themselves with complex tasks. But really the scripts being written are comparatively basic. You mostly wanna get data from somewhere and put it somewhere else. There's a good chance of doing some parsing and maybe some other transformations, but really you should just focus on things like learning to connect to a variety of data sources and destinations. SQL databases, NoSQL databases, data warehouses, working with API responses, and lots of Excel files. You wanna learn how to authenticate and permission to each of these without just putting your password in the code. And then you need to learn handling data with things like data frames or SQL if it's already landed in a database. Making a calculator app, a dice roller, that snake game, it might be fun and if you enjoy it, by all means, go nuts. But you're better off spending your time connecting to a dozen different data sources and just moving data back and forth between them all. If you find this incredibly boring, it can be, but the fun of data engineering is usually not the coding, and it's good to know this ahead of time. The fun comes from taking that big web of data movement you just built and organizing it into a coherent pipeline. Understanding the content of the data, the needs and uses of the data, and how it all interconnects, and then coming up with a master plan to handle it all all while accounting for failures, rollbacks, partial loads, and data inconsistencies. That's where the real puzzle of data engineering lies. So our next key skill is data warehousing. Usually you'll see articles say something like, you can't get away from knowing databases. Well, yeah, we work with data. It gets stored somewhere. Why would you want to get away from them? I think it's the idea that databases and warehouses have been around for a while, so they must be bad. But really, when we talk about databases today, they've changed a lot since the early ones. We've got our massive parallel processing, column store, data lake houses, with integration into distributed file stores. But no matter what tech we add to the database, it will always just come down to the organization of data. I guess you could just dump files into S3, but that's just a mess and won't last very long. And so we'll probably be modeling data for the foreseeable future. Data modeling is essentially understanding the best way to organize your data for your needs. For that, you'll need a good understanding of your data and your users. Because of this, it can be a challenging one to learn on your own, since it can be an iterative process of trying something, getting feedback, and adjusting. But you can always start by learning third normal form databases, dimensional modeling, and data vaults. For data lakes, you'll be looking more at how the partitioning is set up. In general, they'll be a bit more denormalized, but again, it takes some trial and error for each data set. The questions you wanna be thinking about while learning data modeling are, how do you need to handle duplication of data, like normalization? Are your transformations messy and do they need to be simplified? Do you need to move business logic into the model so people don't have to keep applying it over and over again? Is it intuitive to users so that the model acts as part of its own documentation? And our third skill is the cloud. Again, I see a lot of go learn the cloud without much detail, although it might come with a list of tools, S3, Lambda, Redshift, Databricks, Snowflake, Blob Storage, Data Factory, Synapse. Yes, those are all important and you should try them out. But really the important thing is getting used to not working off your local machine. You'll need to learn things like cloud security, how to make sure your data isn't visible to the public, how to authenticate into applications, how to use multi-factor authentication, how to set up virtual networks and peer them with other networks, how to create templates for your services to redeploy them, managing certifications, keys, and secrets. There's quite a bit of infrastructure that is really good to know. If you've been working somewhere with an on-premise setup, you probably have a whole team that handles infrastructure for you. While they might still handle some of the cloud work, often data engineers can be expected to handle their own data platforms. So while knowing various tools is important, you don't wanna be surprised when you're expected to set them up, deploy them, secure them, and administer them. And one of the best parts of working in a cloud environment is not having to wait on an operations team to build your server for you. So those are your top three skills for data engineers, but you don't wanna just focus on the technical side because a lot of data engineering isn't technical. So be sure to watch this video to make sure you don't have a gap in your non-technical skill set.